How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. So I haven't really informed you guys on this new purchase. That's kind of what this video is and it's probably the title of this video. But I'm about to do just a little bit of a walk around, kind of talk about this new purchase and I'll just show you around it and talk about some future plans that I have um, with this item. Here it is. Check it out. <laughs> so this is my brand new fishing kayak. I've never owned a true sit on top fishing kayak. It is a Shearwater 125. And I wanna give a huge shout out to Paddle Yaks Kayaks for helping me get into this kayak because it is almost impossible to find kayaks right now. Walmart's been sold out. We've been sold out down at the kayak shop. I've worked there all summer. And we usually get in about 100 kayaks on each shipment and we almost sell out of 100 kayaks in a week. It's been absolutely insane just due to this coronavirus where everybody is trying to get outside and do something outside oriented because that is pretty much the only thing that is not closed down. But once again, huge shout out to Paddle Yaks Kayaks and Steve for helping me get set up and situated with this awesome fishing kayak. So now we can dive just a little bit deeper into this kayak and I can kind of tell you about all the plans that I have for it and all the different options and little mounts and everything that this thing has. It's pretty much a fully loaded fishing kayak with every option you could possibly ask for. It literally has everything. So I think what we're gonna start out with is the very front of the kayak and then we're just gonna work our way right down to the very back of it. You have this sweet little storeaway mat, I guess you could say. It's like bungee corded right to the side of the kayak. You can store like a dry bag, any sort of thing up underneath there. It's pretty much just for a bunch of storage up underneath that. If you had a dry bag, like I said, or if you wanted to put like towels or anything up under there. And then you have these pretty sweet little, well, you'd think they were just rubber flaps, but actually what they do, we're gonna have to jump back here real quick, but what they do, there's a fishing rod groove that they've made right in here. There's actually two. So what that does, you can lay your fishing pole right up alongside of here, and then your bait caster or your open face reel is gonna sit right on top of this foam. And actually, this and that is another standing perch. So you can stand on the side of the kayak, or you can use it as a little bit of foam to help protect those fishing rods, or actually the real part. So then what you can do with this bungee cord is you can strap it right over top of both of your fishing poles, and it's just gonna hold them in place. So if you do flip, you're not gonna lose your expensive fishing tackle. But this is where these fishing poles are gonna run. It comes right through this groove, right up through there, and it's just gonna follow the line of the kayak right up underneath there. So you don't break any eyelets. They're gonna hold both the poles straight down, which is awesome. And they actually have the groove extended all the way out to the very front of the kayak. So that is on either side also. So you can have four fishing poles actually right up beside you, not in your way, out of the foot pedals and everything right up underneath that groove and out the front of the kayak, which is awesome because people are always asking, hey, how many fishing poles can I bring with me? Because I know how I am, I usually bring at least three fishing poles just so I don't have to retie. I'll have like a top water rod, a swim bait rod, and like a soft plastic rod or something like that. So now we're gonna move back into this little pouch right here. So this is just another storage device. You can actually take this little strap off and that's gonna open up. And this also has a rubber lining all the way around it. So it is very, very watertight. It's not 100% watertight. Nothing on a kayak is 100% watertight, but it's definitely gonna keep a lot of that water out. So you have a good bit of storage all the way down in there. I still have all my paperwork and everything from the kayak. You could also put a battery inside of this storage thing if you wanted to run like a trolling motor or you could run your fish finder or anything like that. So that's also another thing to do. But this thing would just pop out like that. It goes straight down to the floor or to the water, but that is sweet. So that pretty much covers these two storage units right up front. We also have this floor decking. It's like sea deck, just that foam sort of accent. So it's really soft on your feet when you're standing up. Now what we're gonna talk about is actually these foot pedals. So this is where you're gonna be steering your kayak. This is really the big selling point for me on this kayak. I've never fished with a kayak that's actually had a rudder system and this kayak does which is pretty crazy. I've never seen that until I started working down at this kayak shop. So it was pretty unbelievable and I got to learn how to rig this kayak. I actually put it together, which I'm gonna put the clips into this video so you guys can see that. But check this out. So these are adjustable just with one touch of the finger right here. And the good thing about this also is you don't have to retie this string. This string runs all the way back to the rudder 
which we will get to in just a second. So pretty much you can run it all the way down to here, you can run it all the way up there and anywhere in between and you don't have to worry about retying this. It's gonna stay the same tightness and doesn't really affect any sort of the action to the rudder. So once you get it adjusted to where you want it, let's say right there, all you gotta do is come over here and this is where your rudder is gonna be able to be dropped down. So we have this string. Now I'm gonna walk back here just so you can see the whole entire rudder system. So this is the rudder that I'm talking about. So pretty much what this rudder system is gonna do, it's gonna drop down straight behind the kayak and I'll show you right up here. So you're just gonna take this rope right here. It's got a little groove here and it's also got a little stop there. That's actually what keeps that rudder from going down into the water. So it's in the up position and all you have to do is lift it up out of that. You're gonna take it out of that groove there and then watch. It's gonna drop straight down into the water. It's touching the ground now, but it'd be in the water. So it's actually not gonna be there. It's gonna be all the way, probably back to right there. The top of this foot pedal right here is what's gonna steer. So you're gonna be turning it. You can see it turning just a tad bit back there, but I need both hands for it. It's kind of hard doing it with one hand, but you get the gist of it. So you're gonna be turning with your feet, moving that one too, and it's just gonna turn that rudder system back and forth. So it is super convenient. So you can have your paddle just land right beside you like this in the paddle holder and be fishing, have your hands free, and be steering the kayak with your feet. And then once you want it up, all you do is grab this rope right here, pull on it, and watch. That's gonna come right back up, and then you just stick it right back into that insert. It's gonna lock back into that groove right there, so it's really convenient. So if you're a big fisherman and you like having your hands free, you can put your paddle right beside you, fish, do whatever you want, and steer with your feet. So that was a huge selling point for me. Now I'm sure a lot of you have looked at this kayak just because of the pedal drive system that you can get for it. I just have the standing pod on here now, but what you can actually do is you can take this whole entire little standing pad out and you can buy a pedal drive system. So a pedal drive system, you'll pretty much reroute the foot pedals. We'll go right here on this little mount so you can steer with your hand and then you're just gonna be pedaling with your feet back and forth right there. So I opted out on that just so I could have this space to walk around a little bit more. I mean, it's a ton of space right up here to walk around. I just felt like I wouldn't be using that pedal drive system enough for where I'm gonna be fishing, so I opted out. But the good thing is, is you can always buy it later on down the road. You also have these little rails, so that's where you can mount your fishing rod holder, a GoPro to face back towards you while you're fishing, or you can have a fish finder, a depth chart, or anything like that rigged up right there so it's just facing right back towards you, which is pretty sweet. Now we can jump back to the midsection of this kayak. So as far as the seat goes, it actually has four different positions that it can go. So right now it's in the high position, but what you can do is drop down the back. That is gonna be your first position and just gives you a little bit more of a back recline. So the next position after that is you can fold this front piece down and set the seat right on top of that. So the next position that you can do with the seat is you can pull down this front little piece right here. It's just gonna fold down and you're gonna set the seat right back on top of that and it'll latch straight in there. So that is your third position. But then you can run it and run this back piece. You can lift it back up onto the higher position and run it like that. So there's four different options to run this seat. There's also adjustable straps right up underneath the seat that can tighten up how firm this seat is. I mean, it's just endless possibilities with this seat. So the next really cool thing about this kayak, it is on adjustable slides. So it's this little knob that is right here. You're just gonna turn that, loosen it, and then you can actually move this whole entire slide so the chair can be all the way up if you want it. You can put it in the middle. It's, it's very, very versatile as far as that goes. The next thing is you have this storage compartment right up under here, which you can put fishing lures, you can put snacks, all sorts of stuff. So I've already went over this. You have your fishing rod holders here and then you have a drink holder here and also on the other side. But you're gonna come back to this little slot and you're probably wondering what this little slot's for. Some of you may know, but this is actually for your tackle stuff. So your little Plano plastic tackle boxes you can put them right here and just strap this thing right over so they don't fall out if you flip your kayak. So that is stinking awesome. So then you have your paddle holder right here, which I've already went over.
cover. It is very convenient if you want to be hands-free, if you're fishing, steering with your feet up there. So I thought that was pretty sweet. I've never had a kayak this nice, and I've never had a kayak which had a paddle holder. So I'm definitely going to be getting some use out of that. So now we jump back here to the very back of the kayak. You have this huge storage compartment. You can fit a cooler if you're catching fish like crappie or bluegill or anything, and you're going to do like catching cooks like me, then you can keep that cooler right back here, throw your fish right on ice, be ready to go. So you have a huge place right here for storage. You also have two rod holders here, two rod holders here, and then also adjustable tracks for pretty much anything that you can rig right there. And this is pretty stinking cool about this kayak. It already has little threaded grooves, so you can actually run power poles off the back of this kayak. So that pretty much sums up a lot of this kayak, pretty much the stuff that's visible that you can see with it. So I'm super stoked to get this thing out on the water and actually try it out. We're probably gonna do that in the very next video. I just wanna do a walk around, just kind of a laid back video, explaining everything about this kayak that is right behind me. But as always, thanks so much for watching guys. Make sure if you haven't already to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment down below on ideas that you wanna see me film on this kayak right here. If you haven't seen the previous video also, me and my girlfriend Emily went out to a pond and caught some giant bullfrogs and did a little catch and cook. So if you haven't seen that, go back on the channel and check it out. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Love y'all.